I am going to be decluttering my skincare cabinet. I'm not only going to be looking for obviously expired products or products that I don't like, but also I'm going to be looking at products that perhaps aren't great for my skin anymore. I talked about this on Instagram, how my face has been so sensitive, and I kind of mentioned it in my empties video, how over a long period of time, this is such a recent discovery for me, but it just kind of clicked all of a sudden as I started going down more and more of a freaking rabbit hole of skincare research it just dawned on me that i do really feel like probably fragrance in my products and alcohol in my products even if it claims to be hydrating you just really have to pay attention to those ingredients yeah once i started thinking about it i'm like you know what my skin is more sensitive than it has ever been like what is up with that you know and there's one dermatologist that i follow and she's not like super anti fragrance she's not anti fragrance at all she's like there's fragrance in products i still use it because i i have not gotten sensitive to it but she does always mention like over time you can get sensitive to fragrance so I just feel like maybe my skin has reached that point where it is there's a product that I really really love because honestly once you start looking at the ingredients you're gonna see that it has some form of either fragrance or essential oils um, just for the feeling that you get when you're applying their cream it's all like part of marketing and like the way that you feel so they really want to appeal to your senses in like the way that it feels on your skin as well as the way that it smells on your skin. That's the only reason why I think brands will put fragrance, essential oil, or alcohol. There are different kinds of alcohols, so I will do a whole separate video because this I just want to get to decluttering and stuff. But the alcohols that I'm going to be looking out for are these right here. So not all alcohol is bad. There are some that are moisturizing and it just helps with the product, like preserving the product and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I'm going to be clearing out. I just wanted to say this quickly or try to get through it quickly because that is how I'm going to go into cleaning out these cabinets. And yes, that is plural. If you have not seen my psycho skincare collection, then... Oh my gosh, you're gonna be like, what the fuck, babe? I'm gonna wash my face, change into some PJs, some comfy clothes, because right now I'm in jeans. It's nine, and it's time to clear out my skincare cabinet. So good to have a fresh face okay if you guys are familiar with my channel if you're not i'm amy by the way i don't even think i said that at the beginning i'm amy serrano yes like the peppa and i do videos on everything pretty much <laughs> on fashion on skincare on makeup i just couldn't pick a niche i just love all of them so much equally and i just feel like they all work together you got to start with like a good skin foundation so i got super invested in that and makeup i always thought of makeup as an accessory to fashion and fashion has just been my number one since i can remember so it just all correlates basically what i was getting at is i get the most um out of either of those categories i get the most product in skincare like the number one like i get so much like at least a few packages a day of skincare so it does collect pretty fast i do like to try a lot of things but after seeing what my skin went through i was like okay i don't think i can be doing this anymore you know like trying so so much i really thought that my barrier was that strong and clearly she was not she was crying for help let's just start cleaning i'm talking way too much you guys so let me just show you the cabinets that we're working with and so you see the before and then we can see the after and this is my second shelf. I'm actually gonna have my laptop out. I can look things up. I read this book a while ago. It's Paula's Choice. I really like Paula's Choice. I feel like she has a really great approach. Like if you wanna do research yourself on more skincare, like the way that she breaks down ingredients, it just really makes sense. I think so I really like Tata Harper as a brand and if you are familiar with Tata Harper it is very clean beauty very clean skincare and non-toxic um, but they do tend to use essential oils a lot and you're gonna see this in a lot like if you really look up the ingredients of a lot of your products even if they are clean it's gonna have this ingredient called Lena 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 Lul and limoline i have no idea how to say them but those ones like linalool is actually really sensitizing to the skin 
So I'm like, I don't really know. I'm going to hang on to it unless somebody really, I'm going to like text some friends to see if they want this. But it can be really skin sensitizing and you're going to find that in a lot of products. So I'm going to put on some music, look through my ingredient list. It's going to take some time. So when I'm done, I'll have all of the items right here and I'm going to show you what I'm getting rid of and maybe talk about some of my favorites that I am keeping. a lot of different essential oils and what I look for like I really love lavender actually it's not sensitizing to my skin but what is is when it's the citrus essential oil I find that it is actually quite sensitizing kind of makes me burn a little bit I'm gonna let this guy go because it does have orange peel orange peel orange <laughs> chicken I'm fucking hungry orange peel oil I don't mind letting this one go. I have some other really, really great exfoliators. That's basically just an exfoliate. exfoliation. This guy does have fragrance, but it's so good <laughs> that I want to try and finish this. So I'm just going to be aware that it does have fragrance. So just being mindful of other things. Like I'm not going to put it on when I exfoliate and stuff like that. Oh, I love pharmacy they're so nice i love the honeymoon glow this is what i'm saying this one's so good okay so far from this cabinet this is what i am going to see if anybody wants here is what expired some dermalogica things that i just didn't get fully through this one's almost done and then this one i kind of forgot about and this guy almost done this guy almost done too but yeah they are expired now mainly it's like if they had fragrance or if they had alcohol uh did not just because my skin is so sensitive right now i just don't want to do anything to irritate it and i have alternatives to this like i'm not completely committed to any of these as you saw i parted with a lot of products by murad because i had barely touched them so they're kind of perfect to gift and send away and a lot of the ingredients had those drying and sensitizing alcohols that i mentioned in the first five ingredients and i really like this josie marin retinol a lot better and there are some other products in here that i kept that i already has was loving more than those anyways okay so now let's get into the big mama the big papa over here like fragrance in here <laughs> condoms right here deodorant is fine do we need this many do we need this many add some right now Tatcha, kiss you lip mask i like it better than the Lin Laneige. i have that one as well but i like this one better i think Mineral sunscreen. I do love this guy. I do like this guy, but I think it's expired now. We need to look this guy up. I love this. Um, glue recipe. I don't really like too much of anything from them. I feel like all the time I use their products, their stuff just smells so strong. This one actually caught my eye because it was a deep hydration and glow. It's called Plump Plump. So cute. But actually, this one doesn't smell like anything. We're gonna look in the, into the ingredients of that. That I just love this so much. I'll never get rid of her. I don't think I've ever even used her. Oh my god, it's so hard. Oh yeah, it's. <laughs> I'm like, it's so hard. There's a freaking plastic Amy. She's just iconic. Iconic. I just want to take a picture of it. And then these are all of my little whippies, Glossier. Yeah, I love all of them. Versed. Oh, what else can we stick down here? Love the dew. We love this cream as well. We love this balm from Versed. Yeah. Yay. I should wipe everything down. So I ended up taking all of the products out and just wiping the shelf down. That way we have a true fresh start. I honestly looked up the ingredients of pretty much everything. The only ones that I do have in here that I kind of held on to because I am an ambassador, a rep, are Glossier and Verse. So I just like to have those on hand for, you know, full reviews and things like that. Just so I have like something to compare others to that I like more or just to show you the textures and stuff when I do talk about them. But for the most part, these are all products that I feel really confident in and that I had already been loving. The stuff that I got rid of or that I'm going to donate, I should say. Things that actually are very, very recent. That's why I'm not loyal to them. I'm not committed to them. Also, the stuff that just expired. So if you guys want to see like a full skincare collection and just going through everything, let me know. I know those videos can be really, really long, but 
I'm down if you're down. I finished up, I like tried to look up every product that I just wasn't really sure on. Let's talk about these products right now and then I'll show you the top shelf. And I also remembered that I just received some new skincare that I actually ordered off of a Korean website called Yes Style. So we got some new formulations there just because I was really trying to treat my sensitive skin. So let me show you the products that I'm going to kind of give away. From this batch, obviously these are the products that we are getting rid of. So this whole Kate Somerville delicate line I really tried to use when I noticed that my skin was freaking out about a month ago. I really tried to give this little system a go and I didn't really love it to be honest and I feel like I really did give it an honest chance but after using just like a CeraVe and stuff like that I'm like I wouldn't even recommend this really. Like I was using this over here. I have my cleansers actually in the shower so that's probably why you don't see all of my cleansers but I have like CeraVe, I have Lula Roche Posay that I like. I like this one the best right now. This is like my go-to. Oh, and then I have this verse that I really love, this acne calming cream cleanser. I really like the way that the CeraVe has been treating my skin in the event, so I'm just going to go ahead and donate that. Okay, so let's obviously talk about Fenty Skin. The way that I used to review, and also I feel like when you do start noticing something different with your skin like I felt like my skin was burning and it did feel ultra sensitive that's when I started to research everything prior to literally a few weeks ago um, the way that I used to review skincare was just more so like yes I would kind of pay attention to certain ingredients but not to that extensive where I'm like really looking up every ingredient and what does it do in the long run for your skin I was more on that short term and short term meaning like at least one month I always gave myself at least one month did my skin break out no did it feel you know this or the other that's when i would give you guys my reviews but what i've been learning is sometimes skincare brands formulate things so that they really help you in the short term but can be maybe damaging or sensitizing to your skin in the long run so i feel like the fenty skin although i did like this product i really did like the way it felt so comforting on my skin because it does have fragrance and it is quite potent. I'd rather not risk my skin in the long run. I finally fixed my skin's barrier and you can see how glowy I am now. It was a mess after I started using this and I don't want to blame it just on Fenty. I was over exfoliating. I had already over exfoliated before and then I started using this. I did this like super strength clinical Obagi exfoliant and it literally says on there like do not use products with fragrance in it. So, so that's what I mean like I just feel like it is true like over Overall, fragrance is really sensitizing to your skin so I freaked my skin out and that's why we're getting rid of this I just feel like I had to say this you guys because in that review I obviously did like this and the cleanser I actually really liked as well this I never liked I felt my skin kind of freak out when I put this on it was just like oh no this isn't for me like I just wanted to kind of let you guys know the way that I used to review skincare was mainly on those like short-term basis and now um, I, I want to really get into the ingredient list and see in the long term because just by keeping it chill for a few weeks, I can tell that that really does make a difference. So, bye bye Fenty Skin. I hope you go to a nice little home that doesn't have sensitive skin like me. And that's the other thing, like if you don't have sensitive skin, you might not feel it right away, but if it's known to start sensitizing your skin in the long run, it means it's like, why risk it, you know? But hey. There's some people that can take it. Oh, I feel like I talk so freaking much. And this actually has citrus in it, which I learned when exposed to the sun, it's even more sensitizing and it's in a sunscreen. So we're gonna say goodbye to this glossy one. This, I honestly never gave it a chance, but it's just something that like I have other CBD oils that I really like and this one has fragrance in it. Um, like the one that I really like is this one by, I love, I love, 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 love Josie Marin so much skin dope obsessed also this one by luer which is up in the top this caudalie i used to love this so much but like i've had it for a bit and i always forget to reach for it and it's kind of drying we're gonna get rid of a lot of the toners and the mists and stuff i feel like i don't tend to use them as much anymore i used to always slurp these up because of travel but 
I'd rather give it away to somebody that uses it all the time. I never was down for this one to begin with. This is the Glossier Super Glow, and then they reformulated it, and I was like, let me give it a try, and I never did, so bye-bye. Mm, I didn't really, I like, there's the Josie Marin one that I love so much more. Um, I couldn't really tell if I like this or not, so I'd rather give it away, and people love Drunk Elephant so much, like in my family, so I know somebody will fight for it just clean her up so it looks desirable yeah this actually did end up having fragrance and like I said I used it and I didn't really notice a different another mist that I just don't really care to try um and this is one that I kind of am bummed to let go of but it does have fragrance and again Tatcha is something my family fight over and now that I know that it has the fragrance in it and I'm trying to keep it to a bare minimum <laughs> Um, I'll just, you know, we'll give it a better home. I know I'm getting rid of things and I'm saying it's because of fragrance and stuff and maybe you'll notice some things in my cabinets right now where you're like, oh, this one has fragrance or this one, but it's because I can't part with it. I think it is so good and I don't smell the fragrance actually in it, so I'm hoping that it just has a really, really low concentrate. So yeah, those are why I'm keeping some of them, but most of them do not actually have fragrance anymore. Let's open up the new skincare. I'm so excited. <sighs> what well, was real? Calm down, Jamal. Okay. So this cream changed my skin completely. I am obsessed with this Causer Rugs. This is the only thing I use in the beginning of the year. Like, I think starting January I got it, or maybe late December. But it changed my skin in the beginning of the year. I ran out, obviously. I finally have this. We'll put you on a nice little safe spot. I really, really, really love this. Oh, I got this to clean the brushes. This isn't skincare, but you know when you're like doing your eyeshadow? And you want to use the same brush, but you're going to switch colors. Especially when I do like colorful eye looks, I'm like, damn, what do I do? You just like swirl it in here and it gets off the pigment. So smart. How to buy that? Burrito. This is a brand that I have been wanting to try. The skincare community absolutely loves this brand. And like I said, I've been doing so much research and so I really wanted to try this. This is actually a sunscreen. This is the Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. Some samples, some masks. Um, did I buy this? Oh, yes I did. Yes I did. These are soothing and anti-scar at once. I love a multi. And this is also by Purito. Soothing effect and prevent scarring. Sika aid. Anti-scar, invisible cover. Let me just open it so you guys can see what it looks like. I think they're like the Causerax pimple patches. But this one has like Centella, which we are so here for. Looks like this. Very clear. We're putting these on tonight on these babies. Hey, Pikachu, how convenient. So we also got this. It like flew out of the box. But this is the this is the Centella Unscented Toner. Essential oil free toner keeps your skin glow and hydrated with 10% of Centella extract. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. That is all I got. Oh, I put them on. They're so clear. Can you guys even see them? Look, they're so thin too. I really hope this works because these are cheaper than the Zit Sticker ones that I've been trying out. I'm just excited to see if it works. Okay, back to this. This is the stuff that I either let expire months. I'm almost sure we're right at that mark with this one. This thing is a hot mess. It doesn't even spray out. Um, yeah, we already told you that. Again, these ones. Just stuff for my face like this. I'm kind of nervous to keep. This one I also let expire. And I have another one already back up. Let expire. And I've finished this one. And then these are just things that I have too much of at the moment. I'm not going to be... I have like deodorant already. So this deodorant I'm going to put in my other cabinet. Or like my backups for beauty since I get sent so much and uh, those products I like to hang on to because I kind of go through quickly. So sunscreen, deodorant, 
these Tatcha lip masks are heaven. And I'm just going to add this over there too. I really hope you guys enjoyed decluttering with me and just hearing a little bit more of why I'm decluttering some of my skincare because definitely there will be some changes then. Oh my arm hurts. Because obviously there will be some changes to things that you're like, wait, I thought you used to love that, but you know, we're, we're learning and growing and I always want to share what will help you guys as well. So. Anyways, if you guys have not seen my makeup declutter and you're interested in that, how I organize my makeup, check out that video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!